Hello everyone, Justin here, and today we are going to draw another chess piece. This time we're going to draw the knight or the horse, and this by far is the most difficult of the chess pieces, but let's get started. First let's draw a line, an angled line. This is going to be the front of his head, and then from here let's draw another line a little bit less than 90 degrees to the first like that and then a second line a third line that's tapering to this end to the left side okay so here at the end just just draw an angled line right there and this is the front of his head so now what we're going to do is let's about halfway up this line Let's draw the eye, just an oval, and then over here another oval, and that'll be his nose. So now here, for this short line, we're going to draw a U-shaped curved line, going in, curving, and then out. Okay. So now the bottom of his jaw here, we're going to extend this line down this way and then up. From here, we're going to go down to follow this line down to this corner. We're going to draw another line just past this initial line that we drew, and this time it'll we'll make it curve, and this will be our final profile line for his head. Okay, at the top of this tapered rectangle, Let's go ahead and draw another oval and then now we can go ahead and start putting in the details of his face. So here, let's just curve this line a little bit and then curve it in and then make this part darker and give him some teeth. So go down, step in a little bit and then draw another line. Like and same thing on the bottom here very subtle there and this lip will come out a little bit and then this line that we drew we're, we're gonna make this a little bit curved and then back up and right here so here let's just go ahead and make this cheek area just a little bit more curved so from here, curve it this way, and back up. Okay, so the eye, here's our oval. So on the left side of the oval, we're going to make this side a little bit darker. And out here, draw a little line that curves upward here, and shade that in. So for the nose, we can just make that darker and then put a shadow line right there. And a shadow line there to show that there's some muscles there. And then a line just outside of the mouth. And then one more line right there. So now let's go back to the ear. So we have this curve. This is going to be his ear. We're gonna taper that a little bit and make it a little bit more pointy and back and then on the inside we're gonna draw another oval except it's gonna be shifted a little bit to the right so we can make that a little darker his chest will start from right under the cheek here so we're going to draw a line out and it's gonna come out pretty far beyond or right about even with his nose. So let's just drop a line down here just so we have a, an idea of where to go. And then about three head heights down, let's mark. Here's one, two, three. We'll go ahead and mark a horizontal line. So we're going to make the center line of this knight just to the right of the eye here. So let's say right here. So let's drop a vertical line 
this way perpendicular to our horizontal line and this will be our center point for our piece okay let's go ahead and draw the chest so we're going to draw a curved line going this way to this line and back so let's do that to that line and back okay and then we'll draw a shadow line right here parallel to this and back so now let's look at this line here we're going to repeat this distance to the right side and this will be the back of the piece so from here we're just gonna go up a little bit and now we're going to draw the back of his head starting about a third up the ear we're going to go down at a 45 degree angle and start shifting it to the left and out to this line okay so let's go ahead and do that go out start curving in and then out to this line about halfway or about a third down from this line okay in fact I should have extended this a little bit so let's say we had this line like this I'm gonna ex extend this line halfway it doesn't really matter this line basically indicates the height of his mane okay so from here we're going to draw a line that's again parallel to this line but starting to taper in a little bit to here okay so let's go ahead and draw a line this way or you could keep it the same distance but you will taper it a little bit right here and then from here draw a curved line this way towards the head okay so now what we're going to do is put in some of the details of the hair and you could do this any number of ways you could just draw parallel lines all the way around with it pointing towards the body so like right here it would be pointing this way always perpendicular to this line or we can uh, make it a little bit fancier by curving it and we can draw each of these separately and I'll go ahead and do that you can draw this mane any way you want you can make each of these curved more than I'm doing it here or just keep it straight Now that we've done that, let's curve this initial line that we had made just a little bit more. And then again, we're going to draw a shadow line to show that he's got some muscles here. And one more shadow line right here. And one last right here. Okay, so now the top is finished, we can go ahead and work on the base. So again, here's our center line. Let's extend that a little bit. Here's our horizontal line. Let's go ahead and darken that. So this line, will ex extend it just a little bit this way. And in fact, I'll erase these lines that are too long. So now that we have our ends of this base, let's go ahead and draw another horizontal line a little bit farther down and wider than this line so go across okay so let's say we make it this long right here so let's just make sure this is right about the same width this way to the right as to the left so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw down from this corner and then start curving out and then back in. So down, 
curve out and then into the end of that line. Same here. We're going to go down, out, and then in. All right, so now let's do the bottommost part of this base. Draw another parallel line. And one last parallel line. Again, trying to stay perpendicular to the center line. So this line, we're going to extend just a little bit past here. So, And once we have this line pretty, where, pretty much where we want it, we were going to draw a slightly slanted line to the bottom, bottom line, and then just connect with a straight line to this corner. There you go. So that's our knight, and I'll go ahead and erase our center line. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of shading. And let's just do a kind of a rougher, sketchy shading technique for this. And I'll just go ahead and start putting in some tone to the hair here. And I'll just try to use lines that are in the same direction as the hair. You don't have to. My goal here is kind of to just make it more or less even. Okay, and let's darken the inside of the ear and his nose. So let's uh, do some shading right underneath the cheek here. And let's just draw a shadow line like that. And then this, the face, let's uh, maybe shade this part here and go up to the eyes and then behind the mouth here and shade it underneath this line. Okay. And then right here, this cheek, let's put another sh shadow line right here and just lightly darken that and maybe put a cast shadow under the ear here, a little bit darker. Okay, so here, let's just go ahead and put a shadow line right here and shade that in. Okay, and another shadow line right here. And let's just shade this here a little bit as well. And finally, let's shade the back part of his neck. Actually, I'll just go ahead and follow it to this line here and shade that in just to show that there's some form and it's not just flat. Okay. So now to indicate that this chest here, it gets thicker as it goes down from the head. So his neck here is quite thicker and it's more solid than up here by his head. So what we're going to do is show that this section kind of curves in right about here. So let's just add a little bit of shadow here and here.
Okay. Now you can do a more of a gradient if you'd like. And actually, let's let me do that. So make this part right here a little bit darker. And then maybe here darker as well. And I'll just go ahead and shade the furthest right side of his neck just a little bit darker. I'm shading this in a more graphic style compared to some of the other chest pieces we've drawn. Okay, so going back to this, as I mentioned before, this with this curve, this area will be more in shadow. So let's just draw a shadow line here and start shading that in. And then to show that this area is round, the base of the chest piece is always round. So we're going to sh uh, shade this in where this area here is darker and we'll have a gradient going to the left. And just, bef just like before, we'll leave a reflective line up here, a highlight line where it's white. And just start shading this area in. very lightly and progressively getting darker as we get to the right side. I'll also make this part here of the bot most bottom part darker to show that it's curving around. And maybe shade this in a little bit with my finger. Okay, so Just like up here, this is going to catch a lot of light. This section here will also catch a lot of light. So we'll shade this just like right here, very lightly. And then getting darker as we go to the right. Maybe not as dark as up here, just because it does flare out, so it would catch more light and then make the farthest part here dark again. And just like up here, this part angles inward, so it's gonna be in shadow. So let's just shade that in. And that should be pretty much it with this knight. Take your time. Don't worry about having the proportions exactly like how I did it. There's a thousand ways that knights are designed. So take your time and uh, enjoy and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>